All right, guys, just a quick heads up. While you're watching this video, you're going to see me giving the eyes. And I'm talking about wide eyes, big eyes, eyes. The eyes are doing the talking while I'm in the video because this five-year-old will not let me be great. But that's the life of a homeschool parent. Hi guys, it's me again, La Sharika here at La Sharika Homeschools. So I'm coming to you today with a purchase that I made with Carsa Del Losa. They had a sale going on and I just had to hop on top of it. I picked up a few things, just odds and ends, nothing that I absolutely had to have, but because it was on sale, why not, right? So starting off, I have picked up these math flashcards for our kindergartner. Um, it says six and up, but I figured why not start as soon as possible. They look like they're very interesting. And I'm sure because they have Spider-Man on the front, he'll be very intrigued. And he'll be paying close attention when I'm trying to teach him um, working with these flashcards. I also purchased some picture cards for him. You know, we learning to read and, you know, doing those things. And I figured these would come in handy. I also picked up a couple sets of file folders. Man, homeschooling, we always looking for a file folder. There's nothing like having as many as you possibly can. The kids are coming to you for a folder. I need folders for stuff. So I picked up two different sets. Work Hard, Epic Idea, and Make It Happen are on this set. I thought this was a good purchase. Everything was pretty reasonable. And this set has Be Bold, Be Brave, Be You. I thought they were good to have. Just like I said, you're always looking for a file folder in homeschool life. I also found several packs of the notepads, right? So I like to write my kids notes sometimes from time to time when they get up and come up, come down for um, the start of their day. I might write a note and put it on there um, where they sit at at their table. They were cute. I was like, yeah, let's pick them up. This one is uh, a to-do moving through to-dos, and I figured the kids, if they need them, they can just come and grab one. I know I'll use them myself because I'm always trying to keep up with what I have going on and what I need to do next. I also found some mini bug incentive charts for our kindergartner. I think these will be good to keep him motivated when it's time to do his schoolwork. I also found these are, you've got this, to-do top priorities, and for tomorrow, I think the older kids will get a kick out of using these as well. Just in case they need them, they'll have them. Now these. So I love butterflies, right? My favorite color is purple, and I love butterflies. So I picked up these cutouts just to decorate around in the classroom. And right behind me here, I've already started putting them to use. So a couple of the packs are open. They were very reasonably priced. So I bought several packs of these. I just could not not have them. So I bought, look. And then two more. I bought them. I just had to have them. I could not leave them. They're butterflies. I'm going to put them all around different places in the classroom. And then look at this. Kids at work. This is a display for the window. Window cleans. You can put them on a bulletin board. Do what, what you like. But I thought this was cute. Kids at work. I said I'll put them somewhere. I'm not sure where, but somewhere around here I'll find the spot. Then they had this light bulb moments growth mindset. So I'm really big on growth mindset. I always try to encourage the kids. We do growth mindset activities. And I seen this and I was like, oh yeah, I can make a bulletin board with this. I think it's going to be really cool once I get it up. I also found, look at this cutie. Be the change you want to see in the world. This butterfly. And it goes along with my butterflies thing. I'll put this up on our wall somewhere around in the classroom. Now, this here, I do currently have one, but I said, why not a refresher? This is the punctuation chart. So it has all the punctuation marks that the kids will use throughout their life. Can't say in school. I had to say throughout their lives. So I bought this, and I'm going to get this put up as soon as possible. Because I really like this. I like that it shows all of the different punctuations that the kids will use throughout life. And last but not least, I found Common Core Fractions. Fractions um, bullets and board set. Now, so far, so good. So we have two high schoolers, a elementary, one, two elementary and one middle school. 
and they've been doing pretty good with their fractions. Our current five, our fifth grader, I'm sorry, not five year old, but our fifth grader, she's been working with fractions and she's been doing really well. And so I was, she, I seen her talking to her sister the other day when it came in and I have a fractions parts of a whole chart right here on the board, up on the wall. I'm sorry, a bulletin board already on the wall, but I liked it this one because it had, it covered it all. And so I said, why not pick this up? I absolutely love Carson Delosa. I've been shopping with them for a good while now. Um, we've been homeschooling for over 10 years. So I'm always on sites like Carson Delosa. They also have a lot of free resources. So if you're ever in need for any of your homeschool or even working at, with your kids at home, even if they're in school and not homeschool, they have stuff that you can use. They have workbooks. They have free resources where you can get print out um, worksheets. All you have to do is sign up with your email Sign up with your email and password and get going. Um, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. My name is La Sharika. Glad to have you join me today. Have a good one.